Hey, Canton's a great place. I've been there before, once or twice. Tennessee, that's pretty close, actually, Heart Prestige. I'm actually in Kentucky, but yeah, no, I kind of got the accent a little bit. I think especially the letter I, if I'm not thinking about it. I like to say things like ass instead of ice. Kind of consciously think about that. <laughs> Alabama man. Oh, I remember that. What was it? That was, uh... Yeah, South Park. For some reason, I was thinking Team America for a second. I had family that used to live in Alabama, though. I've been there before. Alright. Let's give Mega Man 6 a shot here. And <laughs> just keep your doors locked. this boom boom, I don't know that I necessarily recommend moving here. I mean, this is where I grew up, and it's like everywhere, everywhere else. It's got good and bad, but it's kind of an economically depressed area. Not a lot of good jobs outside of certain, you know, Lexington, Louisville, the bigger cities. Yeah, exactly so, bros. Pretty much that way here as well. Very limited jobs outside of, you know, selling drugs does seem to be a popular one, or stealing copper. stripping copper out of like old houses and stuff. The crackheads seem to enjoy that one. Copper is worth a lot. If someone thought they could get away with it, I think they probably would try to steal the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, that's kind of an issue here too, Hart. Um, there's definitely, especially like a lot of service industry jobs, it seems like they're having a lot of trouble getting people. And that's mostly the kind of jobs here. Whoops. That's what I get. I was trying to look at chat. Heart prestige, man, I agree. A lot of people seem to be really entitled in service kind of jobs. I don't work specifically in service industry, but uh, I work in a job where I still have to do a lot of customer service type things. Oh, <laughs> 
It's a little closer than it should have been. But we made it work. make pretty good money like waiting tables but it's all dependent upon tips really because at least in the u.s they're not subject to the same minimum wage laws in most states it's like what a dollar 75 250 something like that an hour is minimum wage for any kind of tip positions and it's something ridiculous like that i don't remember specifically what it is Poutine was like, typically it was like french fries and gravy or something. Hey, I'm not Canadian, I don't know. I'm just some dumb American.
Yeah, so far as I've seen, seen several. Like, I work with, in a position where I work with, um, um, sometimes autistic and other mentally ill teenagers and kids. I've seen the iPad thing a lot with non-verbal kids. It seems like it seems to work pretty well with them now. I could see that being really helpful when they get something specific since sometimes it's a little harder to communicate that with cues or gestures. Yeah, ASL works really well too. especially when they can't communicate it with you. Owl's Nest, I've definitely thought about it one of these days, maybe after I finish grad school. I do, I do want to learn another language. At least enough to be able to use it a little bit if I need to. Uh oh, it's on some corner there. get a fair number of Spanish pe Spanish speaking population where I work, so it would be helpful to have at least just a baseline of it. As it is, I could count to ten and have maybe four or five words that I would know. Oh, they're 
definitely some people that do need the meds for sure. Some people really just can't focus at all without them. <laughs> Oops, I think I think Twitch just kind of attracts us our kind of people in general here. There's nothing wrong with weird. Normal's boring. What is normal anyway? Thank <laughs> you. 
How did I miss that one? <laughs> butt butt potty? Or just butt potty? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, Alpha Fest, I agree with Oops, by all means. Be yourself. Don't feel like you're gonna offend anybody or anyone's gonna think differently of you. I'm welcoming of any and all kinds, personally. And again, I think we're all a little bit weird in one way or another. Nothing wrong with that. struggling with this level. I may be starting to hit the wall here. Currently banned from Twitch a couple of times. <laughs> I haven't even got banned from anyone's chat yet. Parts got banned from Twitch twice? Now I'm curious. Thank <laughs> you. 
yeah, racism's never okay. I find it hard to believe there are people that don't agree with that sentiment, but they exist. Yeah, exactly, Boom Boom. People have enough problems without everybody trying to, you know, spread hate and cause people problems and grief for no reason. Life's tough enough without all that. one more time. If I can't get through this this time, I may just have to call it tonight. I think I'm hitting the wall a little bit. I'm definitely all about, you know, chill environments. You know, especially like communities on Twitch. I'm always looking for places where, you know, people are just chill and getting along. Nothing wrong with joking around and cutting up, but. Follow, I appreciate it. Did you have a different username then? Or I, I don't see how your username now would be offensive. <laughs> I think. I can't remember that actually. <laughs> I swear I think I remember at least hearing about that if I didn't actually see it. It was gonna be the same. Wasn't there something about, like, Richard Milk or something after that, too? The Golden Richard. Actually saw it. <laughs> Actually saw a person at work one time named uh, Golden Dick. Was actually the person's name. Like... 
nice to me. It's not like it's like a it's not like it's negative or anything. It makes it, it makes you sound like you'd be pretty good. How would you do that to your child? Heart for Siege Man, the names I've seen. I've, I've seen a lot of interesting names. Richard Cranium. <laughs> that would be an unfortunate one as well. And I forgot what boss I'm even on here. Oh yeah, Plant Man. How did I get Bobby takes? Where did I get Bobby takes? Not complaining, but. It's a little bit me, but it's pretty funny still, too. I mean, sometimes you can't help but laugh. <laughs> Richard Milk and sub HP. You gotta get those trademarked, though. For some reason, are weak to plants. I don't know why. Tough. I haven't beaten FF7 in a long time, but I don't I don't know how I would have beaten I don't know how I would have beaten Sephiroth at the end without material because I just spam not to the round and not.
Yeah, I, I can agree about FF7. It doesn't seem that long for me either. But you know, you're only as old as you feel, or so they say. Ninja license on Switch on SRC. Man, I wish I had the time to grind sub 12:30 on Ninja God. I'd love to get there one of these days, but. It's one of those things I think until I'm done with grad school, probably don't have the time for that kind of grind. you've got a pro controller, but yeah, it is kind of hard to play stuff on Joy-Cons in general. I mean, playing stuff on the Switch is definitely more convenient, and it's going to look nice around the capture for a stream and stuff too, without... Serious money. A lot of people already have a Switch, so it's convenient if the game you want to play is on there. Being A, being inverted, yeah. I don't know if you can remap it or not. Oh, oops, I appreciate it, man, but... Uh, you know, it did take me about eight lives to finish Plant Man, too, so <laughs> I think we forgot about that. We'll pretend that didn't happen. I don't think I've missed the beat part yet. I can't remember where it's at. I have played these games before, too. Not super recently, but... Oh. 
always hate that when I want to get something to eat and then nothing's open. I guess you don't have a 24-hour McDonald's there, Boom Boom. I've got a handful of 24-hour places in the town I live in. Mostly like Waffle House and a McDonald's and a Wendy's. Jack in the Crack. I've never had Jack in the Box. I don't have any of them anywhere around here in a way. Usually if I want... As far as, like, drive through burgers, I think Culver is probably the best option we've got around here, but that's kind of a Midwestern thing. Steak and Shake's not bad either, I guess, but... <laughs> Waffle House is pretty good. That's... One of those few good restaurant chains out of the south, I suppose. Waffle House Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme's nice to have, too. Um, it's not, man. That's right. Oh, wow. That's awful. They got Hep B and C. Jeez. Any preference out of four, five, and six? Hmm. I think, I don't know, probably four, but five has really good music. I think five has underrated music. A lot of people think of like two and three as the ones with the best music out of the original Mega Man, but I think people sleep on five's music a lot. I think six is the weakest out of these three, for sure. making the waffles and smoking a cig at the grill and out of the Waffle House. You're not wrong. And they probably got to have at least a neck tat, if not face tats. Boom Boom, I don't think you're allowed to work at the Waffle House if you haven't at least been accused of killing someone. Oh my god, I'll take an E-Tank. Jack in the Box is throwing 
immediately throwing the worker under the bus, although it sounds like it was probably his fault, too. Spirit Airlines. Um, I've only flown Spirit one time, and I don't really remember a whole lot about it because I was asleep. I don't know how I really slept. Because there was no leg room. But, I'm about six and a half feet tall, too, though, so leg room's always an issue for me. I don't remember anything about the flight attendants when I was on Spirit, though, so I guess I can't really speak for it. airline workers. I've definitely never flown Trans-Pacific. The only time I've ever left the country, the U.S., has been to go to Canada. I'm wanting to try to maybe dip into Mexico sometime this year on vacation. My wife's from California. We're going to go with that, out that way and visit. Some of the pilots, too. That's not good. Are we sure the pilots have licenses? The attendant had no teeth? Oh wow. That's... that's interesting. <laughs> We'll be heading around LA, actually. She's from right outside of LA. I think we're gonna fly into Vegas and rent a car and drive. Cause we kind of want to sightsee some other stuff too. Vegas is a lot cheaper to fly to from here, anyway, as well than flying straight into LA. But yeah, she grew up right outside of L.A. Nothing to sight see. Well, I wasn't thinking necessarily between there, but more like staying in Vegas and maybe driving out to Hoover Dam or something like that. So I'll probably spend a day or two in Vegas or something too. But yeah, I imagine it's mostly just desert, the drive out of there. Yeah, it seems like it would be something cool. It's one of those things I'd like to see. And we're already going to be relatively in the area. I mean, we're planning on taking a couple weeks for this trip, I think, so... we got to spend a day or two to go just for that, it wouldn't be too bad. Ah, oh, I thought the iframes were going to save me. <laughs> that's, a, that's okay, Boom Boom, I won't tell anybody, don't worry. I'm not the Twitch police. crazy dropping F-bombs, but, you know, a little bit of language is fun. I mean, I think we're all adults here. Definitely not going to offend me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 
don't understand the theming in this level either. Fighting a centaur for the boss, but then just get a squid shooting on the in the middle of the level. There's nothing else about ice or squids or anything. I can just hit that button and skip that little cutscene every time. I do think the little power adapter thing for Mega Man was a neat idea, it just wasn't executed well. <laughs> yeah, a centaur robot in general is just sort of uh, odd. Like, why? What's the point? But I think, you know, like the first couple of games, it was like they tried to actually have robots and it was like, oh, hey, this is a robot that would cut trees or he's a construction robot or whatever. By about the third or fourth game, they were just like, yeah, here's a guy that's just a robot that's a dude in a snake costume and here's a centaur. And I'm still not convinced that Snake Man isn't just a guy in a snake costume. You can clearly see a human face inside the snake mouth. <laughs> snake Man controls snake robots. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I guess they're little tiny snake robots. It's just sort of weird, it's like everything else is a robot, and then you get... It just looks like a snake, a dude in a snake costume. I mean, I think Dr. Wily just ran out of money while he was building the robots, and just like, oh hey, I don't, can't build another one, let's just get a guy and put him in a costume and let Mega Man shoot him. Pod <laughs> Well, you know, Proto Man is the one that plays the flute, though. Or, I guess it's just a whistle, but. I don't guess I really need that help. I always think of the old that Badgers Badgers video when the snake comes out on it every time I see it, the Snake Man. It's like, oh, it's a snake! <laughs> yeah, that's a that's an internet relic at this point, I think. Anything over about two or three years old is like a fossil in internet years. That video's gotta really be about, what, 10, 15 years old or more? Jeez, I can't even remember now. I should have said I didn't want to know. <laughs> The 
is still sort of wild to me now that they're grown adults that were born before 9-11 and they're like, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago to me. Butter, 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 butter. Mushroom, mushroom. Oh, rats. Did I forget to get a letter? I definitely did. Which one did I forget? I forgot the E. really have to have beat in this game, though. I thought we'd just skip it. It's not that useful. Five is the one you have to have beat in. I mean, you don't have to, but the boss is, like, impossible without it. <laughs> Get Brat. Well, I've already got Bat. I mean, it should summon Batman. Before a smartphone. I mean, it's kind of wild that there are people who are basically grown adults that haven't lived without a smartphone like they've always existed. I mean, the first iPhone was what, 03, 04? So, I mean, yeah, that'd be somebody 17, 18. 18, 19, depending on who their birthday is, I guess. Oh, yeah. We're, we're not going back to get the E. I don't care. Go after Mr. X. Oh, no worries. Oops, man. Have a good night. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for the raid. I really appreciate it, man. Get some rest. Have yourself a good one. Oh yeah, a lot more people have never seen life without internet. I mean, I remember having the internet in like, I don't know, 95, 96 or so, so. Which, I mean, granted, I was 10, 11 years old then, but... session was with X. This is sounded cool. I don't know. Can you still slide with this? No. That's okay. Whatever. It's 
inspect the claw and inspect her catcher. We all know the we all know the cat was the real brains behind the operation in that though. It wasn't Dr. Claw. Specifically, just WrestleMania 2000 instead of a number. Everything was all about 2000. I remember when everybody was worried about Y2K too. I'm thinking that was it was going to be the end times, and it turned out nothing really happened. Oh yeah, I remember people being in such a panic over Y2K. I thought it was flame on this guy. Yeah, I'm wrong. Okay, it is. I guess they gotta stop moving. Oh, I'm just not hitting in the right spot. How many lives do I have? Uh, I'll just take it back here. Whatever. Get a hose so you can get a boat. Well, you have to now to get rid of Rush Marine. This is this is the first one they took Rush Marine out of. So Mega Man would have to have a boat now. Rush Marine was useless. It definitely was. I definitely need to take it out. I'm not gonna take a chance here. Yeah, Marine was completely worthless. They basically just would pick one or two places and in the entire game, you'd have to use Marine to get through, basically, and that would be the only time you'd ever use it. They took Marine out, and then they made Rush Jet worse in each progressive game. Like, Rush Jet was broken in Marine. And then they started making you have to actually fly forward, and not just go in whatever direction you wanted. And they made him go up and down slower, and then in this game, we just get the weird jetpack. jetpack is it's nice not having to pick up weapon ammo to use it. You can just use it whenever. I just wish it lasted a little bit longer. It's definitely an upgrade from Rush Jet in 5. Bye. <laughs> 
Terrible health again. I feel like I just need to take it down again. <laughs> I mean, canonically, he's supposed to be broke, or I mean. I feel like Dr. Lot's gotta have some money to be able to keep making all of these robots and... Oh, here's Beat, here's Rush, here's a Rush Adapter, here's this, like... Dr. Lot's got some money from somewhere. Oh, Mega Man's stepping into that sweet inheritance after he dies. That's what he's doing. And then Mega Man's going to invest it all in the crypto. <laughs> he might. I mean, there'd definitely be a market for roll. You know there's going to be somebody that's going to want to get with that sweet little robot. Oh yeah, see, Mega Man's not... Mega Man wouldn't know what to do with money. He's, he's just a robot that shoots things, so he's, he'd probably go drop all the money in Dogecoin. Takes way too many hits. Oh man, I could have used a six D tank. Okay, can we just use jet here? Half the Doge coin in existence. Might be worth a little bit now, anyway. 46 million? Oh, jeez. That doesn't be worth that much. <laughs> Rush coin. Mega Man will just start his own. Well, you know, I think, what was it, like, one of the people that had got some of the first Bitcoin, like, traded one of them for a pizza or something? I feel like I should go this way. I don't know why. I don't remember which way I'm actually supposed to go, but I feel like I should go this way. This probably will turn out terrible. No, oh, eat it. I can see Mega Man getting some sweet NFTs too. I definitely don't see him being wise with money, though. <laughs> yeah, I needed that 7th e tank.
Like, I've never done a whole lot with crypto, any modding or anything like that. And here it's pretty hard to really get any kind of money doing that now. That kind of sucks. You know, it ended up being worth a lot, but it's one of those things, it's like you can never predict, too. You know, you could have held on to it and it could have tanked and it would have never got a dime. I think it's this. Yeah, that's kind of what I've heard. Probably doesn't help that it's impossible to get any kind of decent GPU for anything reasonable now as well. Yeah, it seems like a lot of it is in China now because of that cheap electricity. That, and it probably helps that they make a lot of the GPU parts there, Taiwan. What do we want to use this for? I have no blizzard attack. and I could just uh, frame through it. Trying to be a dirty cheater. But I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure that would be pretty profitable in that case. Like you could probably make just as much money without it. I mean, anymore, who even has one computer that has a decent GPU for that anymore? I think the full-time job is really the key there to where that would be profitable. I think that's... <laughs> yeah, I think that's the only way it works. You know, you can make a lot of money if you've got, like, a whole house full of computers to do it, and you happen to win the Powerball, and... That's what I hear. I hear there's some decent money in that if you win. There we go. It worked. Oh, you think he's eating the heads? That's even more disturbing. I thought he was just, like, collecting them. <laughs> I've only got 80 tanks. 
okay, see, maybe they're cookies. They're just like head sized cookies that are shaped like Mega Man's head. I'm gonna use one of these. I'm not taking any chances. Aha, now I've defeated you, Mr. X, once and for all. My scheme for world domination has failed, but I still have enough power to destroy you. <gasps> Gasp. It can't be. Not Wily, it never happens. I just realized I never changed my picture up here to Mega Man 6. I've still got Mega Man 5 on my box art. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Story. Oh, the E for beat. That one was in, um, what, Yamato Man's level, I think? I didn't get it. Unlike Mega Man 5, you don't basically have to have it to beat the last boss, so I was like, eh, I'm okay without it. Probably switch to this. Can't get my cup can up. No. Oh. Yeah, I mean, beats are really only useful to beat the last boss in five. Interesting. I've never heard that story. I mean, I guess I could see it now. Yeah, he definitely still looks like a child. Yeah, that would make sense, because even in the Japanese name, it's still Rock Man. This is the big dinosaur, I think. to be Astro Boy. I could see that. There's definitely a physical similarity in there. Where do you hit this guy at? Yeah. Okay, it is. I'm just not doing it. I'm going to use one of my 12 E tanks here. Can I get wrecked in this box? Astro Boy was like an anime, wasn't it? I'm not real familiar with it, but I've seen the character.
That's weird that it... <laughs> I think it auto-modded it because you said Jap. It said that was a racial slur, I think. Oh, on the one hand, I appreciate the auto-mod not looking out for no racial slurs, that's... <laughs> oh, I know you didn't. Trust me, it, it wasn't me, it was the auto-mod. I wouldn't have thought anything about that. I definitely wouldn't have thought that you were making a racial slur about it. Oh, I'm gonna have to actually do this puzzle. Definitely don't, definitely don't think you intended any kind of racial slur with that. Just an auto mod. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely, no harm, no foul, it's all good. I knew, I knew you was just, you were trying to, you know, just shorthand say it was Japanese. Like I said, it was just the auto mod got it. I wouldn't have thought anything about it otherwise. actually use that on something. <laughs> See, how am I supposed to actually use that for anything? You gotta use the jet to get it, but then you can't switch. Might have just the J in parentheses, but I'm honestly not even sure. I mean, I just downloaded all. I just downloaded them all in a set. I didn't go through and individually name any of my ROMs. I mean, I made legal backup copies of all of these games that I actually own. not the way to do it. Oh yeah, I don't think anyone ever downloads ROMs and games they don't know, or if they do, they delete it within 24 hours, right? Public domain, I wish. Copyright law in the US is an absolute mess, though. Basically, stuff is copyrighted for longer than any of us will be alive, probably. How 
up. So, fire. Yeah, Owl's Nest, I agree. I feel like the retro community on Twitch is actually very, very good. It's, I've met very few people that have really not been, you know, decent people. I think being a smaller community helps, too. And too, really, a lot of the people that are interested in retro games are, you know, people in their 30s, 40s, and not necessarily teenagers or 11-year-olds or something. Oh, is it time for the refots already? Sure is. I mean, technically, just having the ROMs isn't illegal. It's more just, you know, selling or giving them to someone else. tanks. I don't know why I started doing this with just the Buster, I guess. <laughs> I got in here and was like, eh. I don't know if I'm going to do all of them like this, but I don't have a whole lot of weapons either. Some of this stuff's pretty low. I'm getting pretty tired, too, and kind of just forgot to actually switch. <laughs> You gotta leave for work in six hours. That's that's not good. Definitely gonna need to get you some sleep soon. I don't have to work tomorrow, so that's part of why I'm up this late. And I'm just I normally work 12-hour night shifts anyway, so it's what 4 a.m. here now. But I didn't go to sleep yesterday till 10 a.m. and woke up at about three four in the afternoon, so I figured if I got in the bed by between four and five, I could get up around noon, try to be up at a little bit more normal hours, call them off. I definitely wouldn't still be playing this if I had to be up for work in six hours. Centaur man kind of, I don't know, isn't that sort of redundant anyway since the centaur is half man? It's like half horse, half man, man. I mean, am I right or am I mistaken? Poppy, thanks for coming by. Get some rest. Have a good nod. I'm going to be done as soon as I finish this, too. I'm struggling to finish at this point. But I'm already this far. I gotta do it. What was this one? Man, I didn't even... He was Centaur Flash, wasn't he?
the, the tail emote. I, I love the animated tail emote from Prom, though. That is... <laughs> That's an all-time great Twitch emote. It's plants, right? Yeah. I still don't understand why the tomahawk guys beat the plants. Alright. Holy man. You can use this on him. go. Whew, almost there. Alright. there. Thanks for the good luck. Appreciate it. Of course, you know, probably helps that I've got 80 tanks. Yeah, they're actually on the final boss is on this stage instead. I'm gonna give you a nice little farm spot here, though. I'm trying to remember what I need. It's like... Not in Tomahawk, I think. How much do I have of those? I feel like I'm okay on those. I've got a million E-Tanks. Oh, I have to actually destroy this. I thought I could just walk past it. What do you got for me, Eddie? Another E-Tank. I think I could probably just bust her all of this, as many E-Tanks as I got even. If I have to. I think this might actually be my favorite Wily Pop music, too. Pops is really good, too, but... Oh, there's something haunting and final about this one. Like, really makes you think, like, this is it. And one of us is not walking out of here. Not quite this game. You know, this is the only game that actually shows Mega Man capturing Dr. Wily out of the first six, too. Actually shows him tied up and then behind bars. Brought him to justice. It only took six games. 
and then he'll escape again later anyway. He now rules over a prison cell. At long last, the world is at peace until the next game. Oh, goodness, I can't believe I actually made it through this one, too. Alright, I'm definitely done at this point. Let me see if I can find somebody to go send us off to. I am about ready for bed, I think. this point you know what let's just go over gray skull doing some randomizers I think we'll just head over that way I don't really have much of anybody else left at this hour Great minds think alike. Alright, so we're gonna head over to Grey Skull then. Um, thanks guys for hanging out with me while I play through these. I'll probably be back on again either tomorrow or Friday night. Maybe do some speed runs or something. Not sure what I'll do yet, but I'll be around. But thanks everybody who came in for hanging out and joining, and I hope. Everybody has a good rest of their night. Right, bye, everybody.